Brandon, you came out in support of Gino. Why did you wait the week instead of immediately you know, coming out and saying the things you said the other day? Yeah, um, so we launched a campaign with our foundation. So we rent, did a little media tour, and, and you know how you guys know the business. Um, that was a hot topic, and it came up, and uh, felt like it was a you know environment where you know the people who are watching can can see my exact words. Um, live television is always good, so you don't say something and it turns into a distraction for the team. Your words get you know kind of twisted, so um, it was good. Brandon, uh, last week Todd had said that he held Gino partly at fault for. Uh, and Darrell said the same thing, you know, letting the uh, altercation kind of escalate a little bit. Mm -hmm. But in your contention, he did, he did nothing wrong. Is that your contention? Um, yeah, I said what I had to say, and uh, you know what? I'm excited to have another day to work. Um, but what I say, my word is bond. So, as far as from my perspective, um, uh, so if you guys are going to ask me any more questions about Gino. Uh, if it's not football, I think we're wasting our time here. Um, coach asked us all to move forward, and I don't want to be a distraction to the team, so I want to. I want you guys to respect that, and I want to respect Coach's wishes and just move forward and worry about you know, my job and how I can make this team better and uh, understand my role even more. Brandon, from a football suggest? perspective, when, when Gino is healthy, do you still think he can be a viable starter in, in this league? Yeah. Brandon, are you suggesting that other interviews you've done since you've been here, your words have been distorted or twisted? Uh, I just think that uh, I just think that um, you just got to be careful and uh, I guess it's the best way I can answer it. Okay, but I mean you were asked the same questions last week. Yeah, I was. You didn't get and the same answers. I, yeah, I was. So, you know, um, I will say this because I respect you guys and I understand it's your job. And you guys have to, uh, you know, write your stories every single day. Um, but there is a perception out there of me. Um, some of it's true, some of it isn't. And um, you know, I want to win, and I don't want my words to be a distraction to this team. So moving forward, uh, if it's not in an environment where, you know, my teammates and fans and uh, ownership can see exactly the, what I said, the way I said it then I'm going to be very careful. And I'm only saying that to you guys because I want you guys to understand uh, the why and um, hopefully respect that. Uh, but I understand you guys have a job, and I respect that. And um, anytime you guys need me, I'll be available to you guys. So w whatever you need, just you know, get in contact with Bruce, and I'll be there for you. Um, it. Do you think, Brennan, though, that your words would have carried more weight if they were? I'm not sure. Weight? I'm ready for some football questions, man. It's, you know, I was hurt the the the, the 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 entire month of December last year, and uh, I'm excited to play ball. You know, so if if you don't want to ask me any football questions, well, it's a football question in the sense that I'm, you well, said that today, you came here. Well, I mean, of I'm just ready to play ball. Right, but you did say I'm that ready you, to play ball, I, buddy. I understand that, but you did say right. You did say you came here. I guess I got to use my skills that I learned at McLean Hospital when I spent three months in the outpatient program. Huh? What, what is your level? <laughs> right, yeah, you got to use that. What is your level of optimism <laughs> from what from what you've seen so far on the field like and the guys good. you've been yeah. around and the work you put in? What is your level of optimism <clears throat> with this team? You know what? Uh, I, I I don't have any. You know, it's just every day you just got to wake up and do your best. You know. And um, I just want to compete, and uh, it's good to, to. I'm glad that um, uh, our team wants it, you know. And um, every guy's out there just trying to get better. It doesn't matter if it's a one-year guy or a ten-year vet like myself. So it's pretty cool to be in, be be around those guys. Considering you guys, you mentioned you're coming off 